Hey, man, I know you hear me over there. Hand me those papers. Yeah, the ones about Alpo and the ones about Wayne Perry. Thank you. Oh, my God. Dot, I do. Somebody please say it ain't so. I want to thank you all for tuning in to Docs Daily, where you get highly classified documentations from your boy, Sean Blazy. Ha, ha, ha. But ain't nothing funny, though. Shout out to all of the people in the pen that's going through that hard time, living that hard life. I would never want to disrespect Wayne Perry or speak bad on Alpo. Now, people have secrets. People live their lives the way they live their lives. But a lot of y'all gangsters out there idolize dudes and then wonder why your life be all messed up. Now, ain't nothing wrong with admiring another man. Oh my because that's where role models come from. If you never admired another dude from afar, then you would never have no role models. But some of y'all be taking this stuff too far. You idolizing the wrong people. And then when you go down the road that they go down, you wonder why you sitting in a two by four cell next to your boo. So let's just have this conversation, y'all. It's been rumors going on about Al Poe and Wayne Perry for years. And I want to put a stop to them rumors because I don't know if that community is trying to use this to put fuel for they mute, they movement or whatever they got going on. They was talking about Malcolm X was on the DL. Oh my goodness. And they was talking about Dr. King was his boo thing. Oh my goodness. They'll say anything just to get that community popping. And when you say something against the community, then you get canceled. So now this big thing about Wayne Perry and Alpo being lovers, I don't want to believe it. If y'all believe it, I don't believe it. But we're going to get to the bottom of it. It ain't about how I feel. It's about how y'all feel about it. I'm just going to provide you with information so you can make up your own mind. Let me know what you think about it. But I would hate to think that some of the most notorious gangsters was actually lovers. Man, we're about to get into this highly classified documentary. I got so much love for y'all. I'm going to need y'all to do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that notification button and hit that cash app too. Dollar sign Sean Blaze Docs. I sure appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get into this news. Like I said, man, if you a man out there and you don't admire another man, then you don't know which direction to head into. It's plenty of brothers out here that admire Michael Jordan. And when you start going bald, you like hell, you know, ain't nothing wrong with wearing the baldy because I love Jordan. But so many of y'all dudes in the street and when you get to jail and things get really real, which you not going to take a shower, you not going to pull them drawers down. It get real freaky behind them bars and Alpo and Wayne Perry and Alpo and Rich met each other in jail. So and rest in peace to the dead. But if Alpo was swinging that way and Rich was his bestie. What about Rich Porter? That's where things get dangerous because you don't want to say the wrong things about the wrong people. And I damn sure don't want to do that. So let me just shut up and let's get into this, man. Y'all going to have to let me know how y'all feel about it, man. And then without further ado, this is going to get real deep, real heavy. I'm warning you right now. This is the parental advisory warning. This is about to we about to go in. So. Without further ado, Reggie, put the filter. Yo, cut the music. All right, here we go. I told y'all. So all we had to do was you know, put his ass in cuffs, and he was going to be in the decision-making process that I told you about. Got it. So all, to me, the main thing was get him out of the way so I can you know, spend time on going after Wayne. Do you think that Alpo was smart because he was able to sort of to some people, they say manipulate Wayne. Or do you think that they both had a genuine love for each other? No, there was no love. Um, There's no love. Okay. At least not. At least I don't believe there was. Um, Wayne was getting money. That was what Wayne was about. He was okay, money. Let, let me explain to y'all what's going on here. Because you're looking at the screen like, okay, who's this fat dude? And what's going on? This is the FBI agent that took down Alpo and Wayne. And my man asked him, like, yo, do you think it was some real love between Alpo and Wayne? He's like, no, it wasn't no love there. They was getting money with each other. But what y'all got to understand is when Alpo was on the run from New York, 
he went down to D.C. He ain't know nobody in D.C. He got shot in D.C. He needed somebody that was going to protect him in D.C. Now, El Alpo been going back and forth to jail ever since he was a little kid. So, you know, when these brothers go to jail, you got to have somebody up in there that's going to hold you down. Because if you don't, then you're going to be getting beat up and assaulted. You're going to have some problems. So Alpo went down to D.C. looking for the toughest dude down there to hold him down. Now, you know, when you in jail and Debo is taking care of you, you're going to have to take care of Debo. Oh, my goodness. We just being real tonight. Money is cool. Money is great. But sometimes in jail, some things is better than money. Like Pinky told Craig on Friday, I got something for you that's better than money. Hey, we're going to talk about it, man. Now that y'all know what's going on here, let's continue on with the documentary. Let me rewind that a little bit. All right, listen at this, y'all. Decision-making process that I told you about. Got it. So to me, the main thing was getting him out of the way so I can you know, spend time on going after Wayne. Do you think that Alpo was smart because he was able to sort of to some people, they say manipulate Wayne, or do you think that they both had a genuine love for each other? No, there was no love. Um, There's no love. Okay. At least not. At least I don't believe there was. Um, Wayne was getting money. That was what Wayne was about. He was getting money from Alpo because Alpo was making sure that he didn't get shot at again, <coughs> and Wayne was making sure that he was protected in D.C. That he wasn't going to get snatched by anybody. I mean, whatever they were doing was working. Hold on, pause. Wait a oh minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean he wasn't going to get snatched by anybody? Look, man. When you want to talk about criminals and gangsters, and, and I'm speaking to the youth out there, y'all young boys out there. It's, it don't stop with the chains and the cars and the girls and the, the houses and the weed. And Y'all think that's what it all adds up to. You being a D-boy, you just going to be spending money and everything going to be lavish. No, you got to live a certain lifestyle to keep that lifestyle going. And going to jail, that's a part of it. And when you get there, you got to fall along with everything else that comes with that. And brothers in the streets, they already know this. That's why they be walking around with two pairs of drawers on. Because if they get picked up and they get stripped butt naked, they can trick the guard into thinking they already took them drawers off. But he got on another pair of drawers. Oh, my goodness. Because they going to want to see that booty. That's the first thing they want to do when you get up in there and spread them cheeks. Before you even get to the cell, they get in your mind right. So, like I was saying, Alpo didn't want to get snatched. So we had to get the homie Wayne to keep people from snatching them. Let's get back to this documentary, man. And no disrespect to these hardcore killers and they siblings and people that I don't want no smoke. I'm just giving this information to the young boys out there that be thinking this is cool. All right, let's get back to this. And I don't think Alpo had the, the knowledge of the area enough to know. I mean, I'm sure he was smart enough to be able to figure out, you know, if I go to a hotel every night, I'm, I'm probably not going to, nobody's going to beam on me. But he also knew that he had to do business. Mm. And the only way he was going to do business is if he had somebody like Wayne with him. Because that way nobody was going to come at him from the other side. So if oh. I'm going to do drug business. Okay, let's let's talk about this real, real fast, y'all. Real fast. We're going to get back to it. But my man said that the reason why he got with Alpo is because he didn't want nobody to snatch him up. And... He would have to go to a hotel every night to make sure nobody got him. And as long as Wayne was with him, he didn't have to worry about nothing. So these men was going to different hotel rooms every night while they was doing business. I ain't never seen a hotel room with two rooms. Now, they had two beds up in there. But if y'all getting money like that, maybe they got separate hotel rooms. Maybe you stay in the hotel room next to me and I'll stay in the one across the hall from you. And that way, if you hear something strange, you can come out with your gun out. 
But whoop, grown man gonna go through all that trouble. Yo, we hitting up a different telly every night just so you can protect me. Hey, desperate times cause for desperate measures, but if it's that deep, then maybe you don't need to be dealing drugs. Oh my goodness. Or unless you just love the excitement. Hold on, y'all. Let me get this together for y'all. I do apologize. It's not. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's get back into this real quick. I have somebody that's heavy next to me who's going to scare the hell out of whoever, you know, would take a run at me. And really, the only person that was serious enough for them to worry about was Frey. So Frey wasn't scared of Wayne. <laughs> Hard to say. If you talk to Frey, you'd say no. And if you talk to your friends of Frey, because Frey was an old timer. He was a, you know, a big time gangster that had been, you know, been a bank robber when he was a kid. And I mean, a serious, you know, career criminal. He wasn't like, you know, he wasn't going to be somebody that was scared of Wayne, but I'm sure he, he knew that Wayne was, you know, like a cobra in the grass. And that's what you got to, you know, that's what you, that's the way you got to think about it. How did Wayne Perry find out about all the, the, the witnesses that he was able, because I heard, like I said. Well, he it, killed it, people that were right. If, 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 if all of us are in, in at a club mm -hmm. and we go outside the club and we have an argument and I kill you, who else am I going to kill? Shit, everybody. I not kill this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, and this girl tonight. But eventually I'll get around to it. So he visually remembered, basically. Oh, yeah. Damn. Now, Wayne Perry, a straight-up serial killer. And you know, in the mind of a psycho, if you, you killing everybody, your sexuality is all out of whack. Ain't no telling what you into in the bedroom. How does the mind of a psycho killer work? If you that hard and you that tough, you can basically get people to do whatever you want them to do for you. People, yo, if I was around back in them days and I saw Wayne Perry on the block, I'm turning around and I'm running the other way. Real tough. If I go in the store and he in the store, I ain't in the store no more. People like this, they can get a man, woman, anybody, old, young. They can get anybody they want to do whatever they want. And for him to have Alpo. Now, y'all make it seem like Alpo was some type of flunky or Alpo wasn't putting in work. Or Alpo wasn't with the shits. Alpo was a straight up monster. But he had to run to Wayne Perry for protection. So can you imagine the relationship? I'm the boogeyman where I'm from. But you the boogeyman where you from. Can you imagine the admiration that they have for each other? If this is all true. It was like a match made in heaven. Who else Alpo was going to find? They like soulmates. Who was Alpo going to find that he can relate to in life? He ain't about to meet no chick that can relate to the stuff he go through and the stuff he did. They're not going to sit down and have a conversation about when they caught their first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth body. But him and Wayne had a whole lot in common both in the streets both slanging them things they was killing people together hey but that's negro here nor there y'all gonna have to put it together i'm not trying to paint no images for you to run with or sean said this or no leave me out of it because me personally i don't believe they had nothing freaky going on because wayne he, they too gangster for all that oh my so don't put me in it. I'm just giving you the information so you can figure it out. Yo, y'all got to listen to this because this is when it get real crazy, man. Hold on. Cut, cut, cut that off. All right, here we go. Listen at this, y'all. 20 told me that he had actually done 100 homicides. I mean, this guy, Wayne Perry, was considered the Michael Jordan of the murder game. 
Alpo was one of the funny ones talking about. He's the one that told us, ain't nothing better than a fat butt boy. What the fuck? That's what, what Alpo is? told us. What the fuck? Wait, hold on, hold on. You Dad, ask him. Dad, you ask him, Dad, did he ever tell the FBI Dad, ain't Dad, nothing Dad, better no, than I, a fat I, butt I, boy? I, I, I ain't going to let you. Like, Dan, no, 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 man. Dan, slow down. Hold on. Dan, Dan, slow down. Are you sure that don't say that he said I, I you sure? I'm not saying that he's that way. You're no, you're missing. No, you're I, missing. I, I saw, are you that, sure that, that he said that? that. Like. He said that because I heard it and I was like, "Damn, he's you know." That's I I never I never heard that from anybody else. I heard it from Alpa. The Michael hold Jordan. On, hold on, wait a minute, Shaw. Wait, 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 wait. This man said that Alpo told the FBI, "Ain't nothing better than a fat butt boy." Oh my goodness. Damn. Why would he lie? After you don't confess to murders, you confessed to killing and humiliating and destroying people's families. Then you come out your mouth and tell them people ain't nothing better than a fat butt boy. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. Yo. All you dudes that be sagging your pants and you thinking that you cool, you got the most hardest dudes on your block looking at you licking their lips, man. Ain't nothing better than a fat butt boy. Man, hold on. Y'all got to hear this, man. Of the murder game. Alpo was one of the funny ones talking about. He's the one that told us ain't nothing better than a fat butt boy. That's what Alpo told us. Wait, hold on, hold on. Dad, you ask him. Dad, you ask him. Dad, did he ever tell the FBI? Dad, ain't nothing Dad, better no, than a fat black boy. I, I, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. <laughs> Dan, no, 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 man. Dan, slow down. Now, now, this is the thing about it. The dudes in New York, in Harlem, they don't want to admit none of this stuff. You heard what that man just said. Now they're gonna try to talk him out of what he just said, and that's the problem with the streets. People want to believe what they want to believe. People don't want the truth. They want all the shiny things, all of the, the glorification of gangster life. They want to hear about people getting killed. They want to hear about people doing dope and getting money, but they don't want to hear no parts about the harsh reality of the people that's actually committing these murders and selling all these drugs. Alpo said, ain't nothing better than a fat butt boy, but they don't want to believe that because it's Alpo. <sighs> okay. Let's continue on, man. Cut the music. All right, here we go. Listen at this show. Hold on. Dad, Dad, slow down. Are you sure that don't say that he said, I, I, are you sure? I'm not saying that he's that way. You're, no, you're missing. No, you're I, missing. I, I saw, are you that, sure that, that he that's said what, that's that? What it sounds like. He said that. Cause I heard it and I was like, damn, he's, you know, that's, I, I never, I never heard that from anybody else. I heard it from Alpa. And Damn. basically what he was saying was that, you know, uh, sex is sex. The, all these readers got all upset with it, but they don't care that he killed a hundred people. Facts. No, we I mean, look, I, I, look, I don't give a damn whether Wayne is, is gay or not. And I don't really think he is gay. Okay. You think that Alpa was saying that just to pull your string or to crack a joke? Cause probably I, cause, yeah because we never yeah, heard of, yeah yeah but probably no not was alpo saying that to crack a joke nick nigga alpo said what he said man it wasn't no joke why would you joke to the fbi about you liking big booty boys where's the pun at was they supposed to just bust out laughing and drop to the floor oh alpo you're such a trickster they know he been in jail they know his whole profile. They know what he do in jail. Why would that? Why would he even say that? What did they ask him before he said that? Like, so Alpo, how you feel about Wayne Perry? Ain't nothing better than a fat butt boy. Oh my goodness. But these dudes want to make it seem like Alpo was cracking jokes. Just to keep their little street credibility or whatever phoniness. They probably booty brothers. Let's be real, y'all. Tired of people in the streets lying, making it seem like y'all try to make it seem like Lil Nas X, the first fruity rapper, as if all these other rappers from the 80s, like Africa Bang Bottoms, wasn't busting their booties. Oh my goodness. Like all of them. 
Kwame and MC Hammer and all them people. You name them. The Beastie Boys and fucking New Edition. And I could go on and on. Hey, but people idolize who they want to idolize. Let's let's just continue on with this. All right, cut the music. All right, here we go. Just to pull your string or to crack a joke? Probably. Cause, yeah, because we never yeah, heard of it. Yeah. yeah, but probably. No, not. you. Can, if, if you got a chance to talk to him, you just ask him, did you ever say that to the FBI agents? And if he says no, then he's lying. Well, he's, a Harlem, he's, he's, lying. A, he's a guy from Harlem. They crack jokes. And, 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 and cracking jokes is fine. He, he, he was cracking jokes with us, and that was part of it. But it was in that same context. He's a guy from Harlem. Dudes from Harlem crack jokes. Look, man, I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying to say nothing is definite. I don't know for sure. But one thing for sure, man, when you got two dudes that can bond on that level, that really understand each other, have conversations, they had to be cool with each other. They was going to this hotel every night. It ain't like it's no stoves up in there. They go get some food. What you want? Oh, yo, B, let me get, get a meatball sandwich. A dude from Harlem and a dude from D.C., two of the most ugliest accents in the world. They had to be exploring each other's identities. They had to be interested in each other's cultures and backgrounds. They hit it off well. Let's just be real. Hey, let's continue on. It is what it is. But which one can you talk about? No, no. None of them. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so, but you got, you got, you got, a, you got, a, you got to quit it nine times. Now, let me ask you a question. So, when did you? You said you met um, Wayne Perry in prison. Right. What year was that? That was in. I want to say eighty nine. Right. Pause. Now, this dude. The name is Teflon Sean, Sean Branch. He said he met Wayne Perry in jail in 1989. So this was back in the day. All these gangsters, all these dudes that was putting their work in the streets met each other in jail. Now, let's listen to what he got to say. Y'all know who this is, Teflon Sean, speaking about how he met Wayne Perry. He met him in jail in 1989. Let's continue. All right, cut the music, okay. All right, here we go. Right before I came home, 89. How did you meet him? I met him through Pop, Shorty Pop. He just introduced you to him? Yeah, we was we was all, we was cool. So, you know, all of us had bodies on the same unit. You know what I mean? We was on the same unit. And me and Pop was kicking him one day. And Wayne came back from court. And uh, Pop was telling me about our Poe. And he was telling me Poe was looking for some help. You know what I mean? And he gave me a spiel like, man, but you got to do everything he say do. I'm like, man, you tell Pope, suck my d I'm not doing shit he say do, f him. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know him, I don't f him, you know what I mean? So he hollered at Wayne, like, yeah, this is my man, Wayne, Wayne, let me holler at you, this is Sean. So that's how me and Wayne met. We got cool because we knew the same people. So then both of us got out. So when we got out, we ended up seeing each other and we, we, we got, we got, you know, we was all right. What you mean you was all right? We was all right. It was a mutual level of respect there. We was cool. We, like, I wouldn't say that was my man's man, but we was we was cool. He didn't like you? Yeah, he, 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 I mean, he, I don't know if he did, if he did, if he didn't, but he never expressed that to me. You know what I mean? I don't think he would have. Okay, pause. Now, y'all got to see this man licked his lips after he said what he said. Now, he affiliated with Wayne Perry without a doubt. He established that. But now he trying to make it seem like he ain't really rock with Wayne Perry like that. And they asked him like, uh, did he like you? That's when he got uncomfortable. Like, what do you mean did he like me? Now he in his feelings when they asked him did Wayne Perry like him? He said, yeah, but not like that. What do you mean like that? Well, you know, he liked me, but he ain't like me. Let me run that back so y'all can see this man and his body language and what he's talking about. Like, I wouldn't say that was my man's man, but we was we was cool. He ain't like you? Yeah, he, 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 I mean, he. What is a man's man? I wouldn't say that was my man's man's, 
So it's levels to this, y'all. This is what y'all got to understand. When you say somebody's your man, you got to be careful about what you're saying. Then if you say that's my man's man's and you put double emphasis on it, y'all on a whole nother level. That's my man's man's like say it twice so you can understand what the hell they talking about type of man's. Hold on, y'all. Like, I wouldn't say that was my man's man, but we was we was cool. He didn't like you. Yeah, he he he. I mean, he I don't know if he did if he did if he didn't, but he never expressed that to me. You know, what I mean, I don't think he would have. Did you like him? <laughs> that's, that's the question. The that was it right there. Hold on, wait a minute. They know something that he. They know that he know that they know. Did he like you? Did you like him? Y'all, yo, y'all got to see the funny business going on here, y'all. I'm gonna let it rock. But he never expressed that to me. You know what I mean? I don't think he would have. Did you like him? <laughs> that's, that's the question. That was it right there. I, <laughs> I want to know if you, if you did it. Why? It. What, 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 what about him might have rubbed you the wrong way, honestly? What about him? They rubbed me the wrong way? Man, yeah. Wayne was cool. You know, you know what I mean? Like, we wasn't the best of friends, but... What you was... really like about him? Man, stop, Sean. Just keep it real. Man. <laughs> I mean, it's sometimes me. a guy living his truth, Flip. You know what I mean? Oh. Living your truth. Like, somewhere. for real. Like, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go somewhere because I'm... And I don't want to do this because... But Wayne exposed some, a side of me about his manhood that I don't like. What? The homosexual stuff? Hey, man. I, you said it, not me. That, but wait, hold on. I think I was, <laughs> Do this because hold on wait 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 he said wayne exposed the side of his manhood to me that i don't like well what the fuck did he do did he smack him in his head with his meat oh my the fuck? hold on y'all but wayne exposed a side of me about his manhood that i don't like the homosexual stuff? Hey, man, I, you said it, not me. That, wait, hold on. I think I was, no, no, no. no. Oh, whoa, whoa, so, so, I, it was something online where a, uh, a FBI agent was talking about it. Right. Right? The FBI. I saw it online. I think that I... No, I don't really rock with the guy. But it was something online where a guy, my man Lou, he sent me a clip where FBI agent was talking Daniel about... Daniel Riley. Oh, yeah, him. Was talking about he mentioned me in that same interview, Dan O'Reilly. Uh, uh, don't, don't hype yourself too much. No, nah, I'm not. Go I'm ahead. just giving you facts. You up I'm... there. You up there right now. Let's, let's bring you back down. Come down the stairs, man. You are, right now you're on, you on the 13th floor right now. Let's get down. Right. The, come back to the fifth with me, bro. All right, okay. So right, let's go. That's true. Wayne yeah. Perry indulged in homosexuality. Yeah. How you do you know mean? that was true, though? Because I've seen it. Nah, Sean. Nah, what? man. Yeah, no. Oh my God. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Yo. Hey, Flip, oh, I, I, hey, Flip, I just gave you exclusive right now, bro. Hold on. Wait a minute, yo. Wait. Yo, hold up, man. If what this man is saying is true, and he said he's seen it with his own two eyes, then that's the end of speculation for a lot of people. And to me, it's not the end of the world or, oh, this is a bomb or I can't believe this. I could very well damn believe it. But if that's the case, then that means that Alpo allegedly was involved with Wayne. And if Alpo was involved with Wayne, what about Alpo and Rich Porter? Oh my goodness. Man, look, remember in the movie Paid in Full when Alpo and Rich was in jail and the dude started beating up on Mitch and Alpo came and saved the day and they was tight ever since. And when Alpo got out, Mitch put him on with AZ and they was just the best of friends. And when it was time for Rich to get his brother back, he went to Alpo. That's, look, that's the type of trust you put into somebody that you either, that's your man's or that's your man's man. Oh my goodness. 
I'm just trying to connect the dots, man. I don't know this stuff for sure, but that whole paid in full movie is starting to make sense now. Showing pornos. You in the club with the porno tape or you banging out some chick. That's only something a closeted man would do. I ain't got to prove to y'all I like girls. I ain't got to prove to y'all I be smashing chicks. It be the main ones bragging on how many chicks they got or how many chicks they don't bang. Be the main ones in the closet. Oh my goodness. Hey man, let's continue on with this because this man said he's seen it with his own two eyes. He's seen it. He ain't hear nothing. It ain't nothing that he heard. It's something that he's seen. So let me run that back. Nah, Sean. Nah. Uh, okay. So right, let's go. That's true. Wayne yeah. Perry indulged in homosexuality. Yeah. How you do you know, I mean? know that was true though? Cause I seen it. Flip. Nah, Sean. Nah, man. Yeah. Flip. No. Yeah. Flip. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Hey, Flip. Oh, I, I, hey, Flip. I just gave you exclusive right now, bro. Oh, on the speakers today, bro. For real? Yeah, for real. Flip. I put that on. I put that on my dead son, bro. And this is this is a part of this is a side of Wayne that um that I, I, I lost total respect for. You know what I mean? Like because you know before before that was side of Wayne was exposing me, Wayne was a man's man. I had all the respect and love in the world for him. You know what I mean? But my man 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 just came in here kinda of surprised. Man man, you got something to say, man man? We put everybody You all right? You all right? All right, man, man, come on. Don't, 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 don't whisper in the hallway like you did last time, man. Say it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no! Yo, man. See? Said he had the utmost respect in the world for him before he found out that's how he got down. But to be real with y'all, in order to be a kingpin, or really be a boss in the underworld. You got to have these dudes under your thumb. And sometimes that's the best way you can tame somebody. I ain't condoning it, but I'm just saying. What's somebody going to say to you or do to you after you don't had them doing God knows what while they were sweating? Oh, my goodness. That's the easiest way to neutralize somebody. Like, you ever got into an argument with your chick and she talking about she gonna do this and she gonna do that and you lay that D down? Oh my goodness. She ain't called no police after you tap that ass. Let's just be real. She not trying to bust out your car windows after you just got done putting it down. And with them dudes in jail, if you're trying to be the big dog in the jail, you're going to have to snatch some booty, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, look, they say booty more important than what. Now, I'm the zest cake for even making this video. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't trying to expose nobody. If I'm trying to expose somebody, I'm exposing myself by making such a zesty video. Oh, my goodness. And that's not even what it is, man. I'm just giving y'all some information for y'all young boys out there. Do not follow in these dudes' footsteps. Don't try to be like Alpo. Don't try to be like Wayne because this is what you're going to be exposed to. You're going to have to give up some booty if you want to live that gangster life. Me, I ain't never live that gangster life. I'm not trying to because I know it's going to be somebody that's bigger and badder and they're going to try to prove it by taking my cookies, man. Oh, my goodness. So you can be tough. You can live that gangster life. Go ahead. It's all yours. But we know you touching them toes, man. And not to say that about Wayne Perry or Alpo, because I don't believe I think Wayne Perry. They might be lying on Wayne Perry. I just don't want no smoke, even though he in jail serving life. He still creeped me out. Just looking at his pictures make me nervous. So I ain't trying to talk bad about this man because he ain't around. He might be a he might be 80 something years old. I could probably beat his ass nowadays. Oh my goodness. But I'm still scared of the memory. 
But that's Negro here nor there. Let's get back to this real quick. Let's go. Man. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of take Ojo's, Ojo's side. So, honestly, can you tell us how you saw it? I went looking for him one day of the jail, man. You know what I mean? I come, I come back from court. No, I came back home with a visit. My bad. I come out with a visit, and I went looking for him. I had a message for him, for from Mike, Michael Jackson. And when I went looking for Slim, I went to his room. And, uh, you know, we, we, we kind of had that rapport where we walk in each other's rooms without knocking. You know what I mean? Because nobody's expecting nothing to be going on in the room, especially like that. So when I pulled the door open, I seen what I seen, Slim, it, 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 it me up to a point where it, it's just it me up about him. And I, I lost all respect for him because, um, you know, I'm a man's man and I, I don't condone that shit. Don't indulge in it. Don't respect it at all. So when I seen it and I said something to his co-defendant, Big Tab, Big Tab was like, man, you ain't no Wayne dip, like dipping that. I'm like, no, I ain't no. I don't hang with Wayne on the streets. How would I know? So when I asked him about it, I'm like, man, stay on. I'm like, what the You know what he told me? Man, stay out of my business. I'm like, all right, cool. You got that, big boy. You know what I mean? Yeah, that me up and I, I lost all respect for him for that. But Damn. That, Wow. Man. He asked him about it. He said, man, stay on my business. So said, all right, okay. That's what you want to do. Damn. Key words, stay on my business. So if you was doing business with Alpo, did that make Alpo your business? Oh, my goodness. I know there's some grown-ass man, but stuff. I'm a grown-ass man, too. But I ain't come up in the 80s or nothing. But still, stay out my business. So what is the drug game all about for real? Why do dudes be taking these penitentiary chances so quick to go back to jail? <laughs> you got a wife and kids. You don't give a damn about your wife or them kids, man. You out here, you trying to go back to jail. Dudes get sentenced they hear how much time they get and they be like, damn, 15 years of booty. Oh my goodness. They don't feel bad about going to jail. Take me to jail, lock me up, throw away the key. Man, he said, I know y'all heard what he said, but it's still tripping me out. He was in court, come back, looking for Wayne going his cell and this is completely going down up in there man but what you expect them brothers to do i don't know let's just continue on with this man it didn't change his his character in the streets did it nah it didn't but okay. at the same time it, it changed it, it changed his character in my eyes you know what i mean now i'm looking at you totally different and i'm not respecting you the same you saw it with your own eyes, though. You said you'll flip. I saw it with my own. I saw two men. I saw Wayne and another man together. Flip, I'm not going to... I'm not... One thing I'm not going to do, man, is say what I, I haven't saw, or I'm Understood. not going to put a bone on nobody Understood. if I don't... Like, I'm not a third-party spreader. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to spread and never say, oh, yeah, such such told me this about Wayne. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And I know some people, man, when they see this, they're going to be they gonna be mad. I'm going to ruffle some feathers, but I don't give a... You know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. Like, and whoever don't like it, you got to take it up with that man. I ain't do that. He did it. Did people know in D.C. that he was indulging in that type man, of activities? yeah. Fact. I mean, everybody knew. Was he doing it in, when he was in, in the town as well, or he was just in prison? Like I say, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because me and, me and Slim didn't hang out every day like Understood. that. We only saw each other in, in passing, right? But, you know what I mean? His code friend told me, like, man, you ain't know. I'm like, nah, I didn't know, bro. Like, how would I know? So Alpo now. Alpo, um You heard, you first heard about Alpo in prison, you said. Right. Right? And nah, then, nah, I didn't I didn't first hear about him in prison. Pop told me about him in prison that he needed some help. But I knew I heard about Poe through Lou and Demisio before Poe even got here. 
What did they say? Yo, about man, it? talk you know, a, was- talk about a pipeline or a grapevine, and how these dudes wind up knowing each other and getting to know each other. It's like some chatty patty females. Do you know Devon? Did you hear about Shantae and what she did with Lorenzo? Did you hear about what? You know how girls be talking about dudes? Then before you know it, everybody know who the dude is before he even show up to the party. They was already talking. It was like a blind date before they even met each other. They got hooked up in the jail system, man. That's how they do. They know about you before you even get to the jail. I heard Terrell told LaVon that told Gerald that told James and George what Tommy told Teddy that you was the top gunner in the jail. It'd be some dude smiling in your face you ain't never met before. Like, oh, you like to get your toes licked, huh? Like, what the fuck? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hey, man. Not to make fun. Look, not to make fun of people's situations, but if you put yourself in a situation, this is what you're going to have to deal with. Like they say, a hard head make a soft ass. Oh, my goodness. Y'all ain't never knew what that meant. People, grandparents been saying that for the longest. A hard head. Make a soft ass. And like Alpo told that detective, ain't no better than a fat butt boy. Let me explain what it mean to y'all. If you hard headed and you want to be running the streets and shooting and looting and doing all of that. When you get in jail, your hard head is going to make a soft ass oh my goodness. for another man. Let's continue on, man. They were telling me not to fuck with him. They like, man, as a guy gonna come to your town there, Alpo, man, he hit. If he, if you ever run across him, don't fuck with him. He's a snake, he ain't to be trusted. You know what I mean? And I mm. and I learned later on that the reason why they said that is because of a situation where Alpo was overhearing some Spanish guys talking, and Spanish about some work, and Poe came back and double back on him and and, and, and robbed him. Damn. He's been his friends or whatever. I don't know. Did you ever meet him, Alpo? Nah, but we um we never got a chance to get that close, Understood. you know what I mean, to each other because um and I'm pretty sure Wayne told him about me. Cause whenever I came around, Poe would get on either on his motorcycle or in his car and burn rubber. He would get the f away from me. Whenever I came around. He there was a story about him getting um, attacked in D.C. Um, why well, did they attack him? Were they hating on him? I'm not Was sure. I, I know it's a couple of incidents I heard about that um, that um, Poe got got attacked. Got dudes try to get at him. One dude was jawbreaker. Try to get at Poe and uh, Titus. Try to get at him. So them are the only two incidents I heard. Okay, let me say this before we continue on with the documentary. As a matter of fact, I'm about to wrap this up because I can go on and on. But I, you know, I'm already feeling mad zesty for doing this video. Like I said, I don't believe that they did it. Uh, you know, it's up for y'all to decide. But let me say this before I go, man. What do this say about the LBGT community? You know, should we be worried if this is how people within the community get down? Real cutthroat. All them rainbows and flowers, this ain't got nothing. Y'all need a new symbol after this one. Because I don't even like, you know, I ain't trying to get in trouble. But I can't even look at a rainbow the same no more. And y'all make it seem like it's all peaches and creams and flowers and roses. No, it ain't. Some of the most ruthless people in history was a part of the LBG. You know, and nobody's perfect. Well, come on now. <clears throat> Need to add some more colors to that rainbow. I'm just saying, because if this how these brothers are getting down, the whole prison population doing the unthinkable acts, uh, y'all got to include that into the LBG as well. 
maybe y'all need to fix them problems. Since it's all about the community and everybody stick together, then get them brothers out of jail or reform them or get them some work when they come home. Shit, when you come home from jail, you should be sponsored by the LBG. They should get you employment. You know what I'm saying? They should set you up and get your life on track. Because you definitely down with the community. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Y'all gonna have to let me know. But uh, rest in peace. Should I even say rest in peace to Alpo? Bye bye to Alpo. Uh, Wayne Perry, hold your head, bro. He been in there since the 80s. But he don't kill so many people. I don't feel bad for him. But he gangster, so I gotta keep it real. But that's Negro here nor there. Yo, y'all gonna have to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. This is satire and comedy. There ain't none of this stuff real. I'm just doing this for views and everything. So don't come at me trying to get at me over Alpo or, or Rich Porter. You know, this is all fake. If that's make you feel comfortable. It's all lies and allegations and stuff. I don't want no smoke. But uh, that's Negro here nor there. Yo, make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Also, hit that notification button. Don't forget to hit that cash app, too. Dollar sign, Sean Blaze Jacks. You know what I'm saying? A little something, something. I would really appreciate that. Hold on. I got to get my outro together. Damn. Hold on, y'all. She's just a helpless romantic. Uh, uh. Uh, okay, I got to take that from the top. That was real bootleg. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that notification button. You know what I'm saying? And hit that cash app, too. Dollar sign, Sean Blaze Docs. And, yo, for all the people that joined the channel, I really do appreciate y'all. Let me see who all joined the channel. Because I see Morel talk and somebody else joined the channel, too. Uh, I'm going to have to scroll back. Because it was quite a few people that came through. Who who that? Yella joined the channel. Thank you so much, Yella. I appreciate you for joining the channel uh, and everybody else that hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I got mad love for y'all. And y'all know why I do these videos, man. Uh, 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 risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I Sean got the jocks. I'm keeping it funky like some socks. Ponytail with the box and myself.